visit introduction rahul hi i'm rahul and these are my classmates sakshi meena suraj renuka savitri pooja nazma neha kasim mary wahida tushar namdev shiv urmi and abira sakshi we are going on a field visit from naldurg in osmanabad district suraj to alibag in raigad district mary our school has engaged a special state transport bus for this purpose namdev our teacher has helped us to organize this visit look this is our route abira besides a personal luggage and i cards we are carrying these items too a cap water bottle pen pencils and paper binoculars a camera a compass map and first aid box in our rucksacks ship isn't it exciting why don't you join us day 1 six hours itinerary and instructions teacher we have left naldurg and are on our way to solapur where we will have our breakfast lunch will be near sanagar pune observe both sides of the roads and write your observations in your notebooks with reference to these points relief water bodies vegetation soil agriculture human settlement settlement patterns topography rahul madam i can see undulating topography with plains in between and also some agricultural fields sakshi we can see small settlements along the roads we can also see tea stalls dhabas petrol pumps and other shops teacher yes meena your observations meena madam are we going down slope teacher correct now we are in the southern part of balaghat ranges they are the eastern of shoots of the sayadris keep looking at the map given to you and the topography outside you can easily see the changes occurring in the landscape settlement patterns and housing types teacher now tell me about the settlement patterns and housing types suraj madam in rural areas we see houses in a straight line along the road their walls are made of clay while the roofs are made of mud and wood renuka in this area we can mainly see dry grass trees which have shed their leaves are visible in some places teacher good observations suraj and renuka such settlements are called linear settlements as we have learned earlier the traditional mud and wood houses which you saw are called dhabiya chi ghare the vegetation here belongs to the dry deciduous type which sheds its leaves during a specific season urban settlements teacher 
Now we have reached Solapur city. In such urban areas, the population density is high. We see multi-storied houses made from a mixture of cement, sand, rubble and water. They are constructed using bricks. Shops with modern amenities like shopping malls, big restaurants, etc. are found along the roads. Rahul, could you please distribute the breakfast packets among your friends? Thank you. Crop cultivation Teacher, now we are crossing Solapur city. Students, look around at the cultivation. What do you see? Savitri Madam, the fields are greener here. When we had left Naldurg, we had seen shrub crops and there was some sugarcane. But mainly sugarcane is being cultivated here. Teacher Correct. When we had left Naldurg, we had seen cultivation of moog, urad and other pulses. But now it is mainly sugarcane because of the availability of irrigation facilities. Irrigation facilities. Savitri. Yes, madam. We had crossed a canal some time ago. And now I can see a large reservoir here. Which is this reservoir, madam? Teacher. Refer to your maps. As shown, to our right are the backwaters of the Ujni Dam built on the river Bhima. This dam is mainly used for supplying drinking water. It is also used for power generation, fishing irrigation, etc. Changes in relief. Puja. Madam, this seems to be a flatter area. Teacher. Yes, we are going through a part of the Deccan Plateau itself. As we go westwards, we will notice major changes in the relief and vegetation. Changes in vegetation. Nazma. I also noticed that when we left Naldurg, trees like jujube, boar and babul etc. were visible. But here, different trees are seen. Teacher. Good. While crossing Naldurg, we saw semi-arid, thorny type of vegetation. Change in type of vegetation is an indicator of change in the amount of rainfall in that area. We see that anjan, ironwood, banyan and people trees are more in number here. Sinagar Fort We have reached the foothills of Sinagar. Now we will climb to the top and you will see the offshoots of the Western Ghats. You will only carry your eye card, notebook, pen, binoculars, camera, cap, map and water bottle. Keep your luggage and other items in the bus itself. Teacher We have now reached the fort of Sinagad. How will you collect information about it? Neha Madam, we saw a board at the entrance which gave us information about the Sinagat fort. We have also clicked its pictures. Variation in relief. Teacher. Good Neha. Now who will tell the differences in the relief features? Kasim. Madam, we can see that 
Now the undulating plains have turned into rugged topography with hills. This is a high hill. We are at a higher altitude and hence can even experience clouds. Teacher. Very good, Kasim. You can see many physical features like rock pinnacles, valleys and hills and layers formed from volcanic eruption. Have you recognized the rock found here? You might have seen some debris of landslides at places while climbing. Rahul Madam, this is basalt, an igneous type of rock which we have learnt about earlier. Agricultural Pattern Teacher Now, tell me about the agricultural pattern around here. Mary We saw mainly pulses being cultivated at the place where we live. Between Solapur to Pune, we saw sugarcane. Now we see mainly paddy fields. Teacher Correct. It is because of the good amount of rainfall here. Comparing Naldurg and Sinagard forts. Teacher Can you recall seeing a similar fort-like structure before? What difference do you see between both of them? Bahida Madam, the Naldurg fort is not situated on a hill like Sinagad. We do not have to climb up a slope to see it. Teacher. Very good. Now we have reached the top of the fort. This is a hill fort built on a hill with a view to security and to keep an eye on the surroundings. Naldurg is a fort on the land. All such forts are the heritage of our state. Dam and Devtaki Teacher Come here and look down. The water body that you can see in front is the reservoir of the Khadakvasla Dam which serves water to areas in and around Pune. Now we will go to the Kalyan Darwaja gate. Come here and see this structure. This is called Devtaki sacred tank. Water coming from a natural spring gets stored here. Even today it serves water all the year round to the people who stay at this fort. All students. Oh my God! How can water be available continuously at this height in centuries? Pune Teacher, we will be visiting places in Pune like Shaniwarwada and famous market places like Tulsi Bag and Mahatma Phule Mandai Market. There are wholesale and retail markets here where you can shop before dinner and our night halt. Make sure you write down all your observations. Day 2, 7 hours Changes in Relief Teacher Now we are on the Mumbai Pune Expressway. Can you see the change in the relief again? We will stop at Rajmachi Point near Lunavla. Tushar Yes, madam. Even though we are driving on a plain road, we can see hilly regions all around. The frequency of houses is becoming less. Teacher These are the slopes of the Western Ghats, also called the Sayadris. From here you can observe the difference in slope, the gentle slope to the east and the steep slope to the west. Towards the west, you can see many cliffs and waterfalls which you have learned about earlier. This region is also the source of the river Ulhas, 
a major west flowing river. Ghats and vegetation Namdev Madam, we are crossing the Ghat section. Are we going to Kapoli? Teacher, correct Namdev. This is known as the Pore or Khandala Ghat in the Western Ghats. Shiv Madam, we can see dense forests comprising of thick vegetation in the Ghats. We can see trees with broad leaves. We have seen such trees in the Sinagad region too. Teacher These are teak trees. This region is a region of deciduous trees. There are many Vanrais and Devrais, woodlands and sacred groves. Western Coastal Plain of India Teacher, we will now enter the western coastal plains of India. Observe the trees, soil and houses. Nazma Madam, I can feel a change in the weather. It is getting hotter and I have started perspiring. Teacher, because of increase in humidity in the air, we start perspiring and the skin becomes sticky. As we go near the sea, this will increase. Namdev Madam, it has started raining in this region. Also, the amount of rainfall seems to be more. It might be happening because of this. Teacher Correct Namdev This happens because of heavy rainfall and the nearness to the sea. Also because of high rainfall, rice is the major crop here. Soon we will reach the sea. Can you name it? All students. The Arabian Sea. Teacher. Good. After reaching Alibag, before we go to our lodges, we will visit the Talati office. You can gather information on the basis of the questionnaire you have prepared in the school. Urmi We will be asking questions about the types of crops, soil types, cultivation of fruits and other cash crops. We will ask how land revenue is collected in this office about land under irrigation, watershed programs and other occupations in the village. Sea Coast at Alibagh Teacher After lunch, we will go to the sea coast. How many of you will be seeing the sea for the first time? Abira I'm just trying to imagine how breathtaking it will be. What will it look like? Or will there be just water? Teacher Patience, Abira. We will be reaching the beach just now. We have already given clear instructions regarding precautions to be taken there. We will also visit a fort called Kolaba or Alibak Fort here. We will have to take into account the timings of the high and low tides as this is away from the coast in the sea. Can you identify some of the landforms formed by sea waves, which you have studied earlier? All children, almost together. Beach, sea caves, wave cut platforms, sandbars. Teacher, good. You remember them well. Now let's enjoy. Land and sea forts. Neha. Madam, this fort is different from the first two. Teacher. Good Neha. 
Can you tell the difference between them? Neha Yes, madam. This fort was constructed in water while other two were on land. Teacher Correct. This fort is built on a wave-cut platform. Because it is surrounded by sea water, it is called a sea fort. These forts were built for the security of the seas. There are many such forts on the west coast. Neha Yes, I have heard names like Sindhudurg and Janjira earlier. Occupations Teacher Based on the information you have collected, can you tell what occupations are followed here? Rahul Madam, fishing and agriculture are both practiced here. Teacher Correct, Rahul. To which category do these occupations belong? Rahul Madam, these are primary occupations. Teacher True. Initially, fishing was the main occupation. Later on, agriculture was also practiced in this region, but away from the shore. Coconut, betel nut, jackfruit, banana and some spices are cultivated in the coastal plains. This is horticulture farming. Today, tourism has become an important occupation here. Let us, like tourists, enjoy playing on the beach, clicking photos of the sunset, before returning to our lodges to compile our reports. Remember that we have to make an early start after breakfast to return home 